In the last episode, we uh, faced the uh, threat of um, water, and uh, ooh, there's a new trident. Um, yeah. So we have Lisa following us on this side of the river, we have orcs wanting to kill us on this side of the river, and we have a river wanting to kill us in winter. Then we have probably more undead over here, somewhere. So we are trapped between a rock and the hard place, so to speak. Which means we want to get out of both. Our objective is to move Conrad to the north side of the river, although I'm not sure if this or that qualifies, so we'll have to see. However, since we have a large body of water, I do hope we can get some mermen to aid us. So let's uh, get started here. I don't know if the rogues have any use here. Those guys will be, though. And I have a lot of money, so I'm going to recruit as much as I can. Oceania, a mermaid initiate. Well, that is certainly creative. I'll recruit all of them. I think I'm going to split my forces here. So I'll have one uh, group of guys that will... Actually, will I? Oh, that, that seems dangerous. No, uh, I'll not split my force. I'll just try to move over the river as a uh, as a unit. Probably have some. Oh my goodness! Yeah, I'm not attacking that fort. I'll try to uh, leave a few mermen over here to uh, ward them off where we can or where they have the least defense. For now, however, let's uh, move all those guys to water. And I find it kind of weird that they only have like 50% defense in, uh, in deep water, which is where I suppose they would do best. I mean, they can breathe underwater. What, what more could you ask for? They could attack from way below. Uh, let's see what else I want. I can't really use a scout here, so I'm not going to do that. I think I'll have the knights just to have their uh, charge attack. Knight and the, the Elvish Shide as well. They can fly, so they should be very, very useful here. Also, everything that's uh, even remotely capable of healing. And I suppose also the mages. Okay, so one of the um, mermen has to go here and get what I suppose is another Trident of Storms. And I hope I don't lose him again this time. I certainly hope I don't lose him again. Because I think this uh, would have come in really handy. And yeah, this is this is just too dangerous to attack. They would annihilate us, and I'm not too keen on that. Do they have yeah, they have leveled units as well. I mean, it's, it's only fair in campaigns, although it makes it hard if you manage to, for some reason like me, lose most of your leveled up troops. You also have to move uh, your troops quite fast here, because uh, what, you, what you need to consider is that your landbound troops, like Conrad, or as you've seen, Delphador, are very, very, very slow in the water. So... Uh, Putting them into the water isn't any, uh, won't do you much good. And actually, you it takes a while for them to cross the river. It takes a very long time for them to cross the river. So, uh, yeah, get them into the water as soon as possible. Okay, flying units can move easily. Uh, what else do I want? I guess I could use a thief, but I don't know. I'll have an archer. I don't use them as often as I should, probably, so uh, let's do that. Okay. And now that we don't have any money left, we'll just uh, charge in. The uh, blue side will waste some time getting to the uh, villagers, which is good, because it, it keeps the, the, the guys a bit retained. 
Right, it's a bit of the uh, chromato uh, chromatography effect. Uh, some of his units will just uh, dawdle around and uh, take over villages and will be delayed. So his troops won't arrive as one big blob, but instead of as a larger wave, which is great. It works for me, or in my favor, in that case. Okay, have the sea people arrive here. You take that. Knowing my luck, this thing is guarded. I don't dare to think about what is guarding this. Maybe I should send in another guy. Maybe, yeah, let's send in more than one um, sea, f sea person, merfolk guy. Whatever. We need more than one. And yeah, my movement in water sucks, so maybe some flippers for Conrad would have been a nice idea. I can't only rely on land units though, because uh, on, on sea units though, because I, I might need something over here to fight as well. And that's why I recruited those knights and those other guys. Probably not enough of them, but I hope it works as planned. Or well, as planned as I could get it. Didn't I say I leave some, some sea folk over there in the river? Well, damn, I totally forgot about that. Okay. Is there someone? No, it's not. I thought I forgot someone on the site, so uh, they would most certainly be doomed if I had. Also, let's uh, check the uh, water serpent. What is that? Creatures of the deep are upon us. This may be very dangerous. And be quick, we must get to the other side with all haste. Well, okay, so the uh, trident is not, in fact, guarded. It is, however, kind of uh, competed for. Yeah, water serpent, not a good idea. Luckily, they are their own faction. I don't think any of those are allied. And I wish it. I wish I could check if those are allied. But even the status table doesn't tell you that. <laughs> like they have to be uh, several colors in order to to keep them or to give them two leaders. Oh no, team here. So Ashavir and the orcs. I think those are allied. And the monsters. So those should attack everything that moves, which means they might also help me here, unwillingly. They will not actively assist me, but they will be helping. They, they may be helping me without wanting that. Okay, everybody get into the water. Oh, damn it. Okay. If you guys stay back, this squad should do. Okay, we'll stay back here as well. Move the alpha door forward. Move you over here. Okay. The uh, shide goes there. The problem is they will have a certain income left because they will be able to capture villagers. They have cuttlefish. I like cuttlefish. They are kind of cute. I don't know why. Just look at them. Uh, yeah. Uh, they can't move on the shore, by the way. They, they can't get to that. I'll show you. No, I'm not that. Uh, unit description. Here, movement cost. They have five, which is pretty much beyond their movement. No, it's not. They could move that now. They generally don't. Uh, I think, yeah, most tiles are unwalkable by, uh, for them. And I think 5 is just... Uh, let's actually check that. What's the, the movement cost for fl uh, for shallow water for you guys? Uh, movement cost, yeah, 4. Deep water defense, 0%. Not sure if you can actually get to uh, such terrain without... Uh, an event kicking you there, for example. 
And I think in that case the unit will just die instantly. Not necessarily on mountains, but I'm quite sure that they will die right away if they are, for example, trapped, uh, if they are moved towards a, a deep chasm. That's actually one of the things that uh, can mess you up in some random campaigns, or not random, but in some uh, player-made campaigns. Maybe also in some of the uh, official ones, I don't know. I haven't played all of them yet, I think. But sometimes there are like levels that collapse or do something and you have things falling down on you or things opening up like chasms and if your units are on those sometimes they leap out of the way depending on how kind the uh, developer was uh, yes take it whoa we got the uh, storm trident again I wonder if it's the same if it just uh, floated down river how would it um, yeah, so, uh, what do I want to say now? <laughs> Damn. Where the hell was I uh, mentally now? Ugh. Okay, I totally lost my uh, thread there. Uh, do I want to attack? No. I want to attack with this one. Ah, I was about to say something. I forgot what, though. Yeah, I did mention I liked cuttlefish. I don't, I don't know why, I just... They, they seem amazing to me. I mean, they can... Uh, I've, I've seen a video of those lately, where a cuttlefish basically took all the uh, patterns around it. And they actually... Uh, I don't know what it was, uh, what, what show it was from. I think it was uh, taken from a TV show. And they had a cuttlefish that was uh, basically put into an aquarium that was a bit modeled like a living room. And it was actually trying to uh, copy those patterns and, and uh, camouflage itself on those. And uh, it was totally impressive how it did that. Because it actually did well. Even be even though those or some of those patterns were like uh, a checker pattern. And it was it was totally insane. So yeah, that really impressed me. And that's one of the reasons why I like cuttlefish. They just seem so smart. I mean they don't look very, very pleasant, I guess, to some, but I I like them. Okay. So yeah, I have a soft spot for cuttlefish. Screw it. Um Okay, we have that, we have that. Those guys have moved. And the most of you guys will die. Pretty sure most of you will inevitably die. A horrible and painful death. So far for the archer. Yeah, that lasted long. Oh, come on, don't kill him. Don't kill him, don't kill him, don't kill him. Okay, not sure how I'll best go about that. I mean, Lisa should have extreme. Co okay, those guys are loyal, so they won't cost her anything. Okay, this isn't going very well. <laughs> this is definitely not going very well for me. I should have waited one more turn. Oh yeah, that's a swarm attack, I remember those. Are they all in range? I hope not. I hope they are not all in range. Please don't all be in range. There are so many attacks. So many attacks. Yuck. Okay, you get the hell out of there. You get the hell in there. No, not there. Actually, don't get the hell in there. What am I thinking? Why aren't you telling me not to do that? Oh, wow, this is bad. Uh, spear him. And yeah, I think those spear throwers should have more defense in, in deep water because, I mean, if I were a uh, waterman spear thrower, which I apparently am not, 
But if I was, I would probably die very deep and throw my spear underwater. I mean, I think lore-wise those guys have those uh, undersea uh, cities. Although they do tend to have a tendency to go into the uh, shallows as well, but they are for the most part undersea creatures. And I feel that they should have no problems going that far in the water. Okay, this is basically just to hold the uh, horseman off. Oh, not good. Not good. Okay. Do I want the mermaid to go? No, I want it to stay here. Might be a good idea to uh, patch up the... Actually, no. I want her to go there. Do I want that? Maybe here? Who the choices? The choices. Now, I'll keep her here to patch up the shide if need be. Maybe move Delphodor a bit back. Keep the druid there. Okay, end the turn. Uh, we are actually at an advantage here. The thing is, we are outnumbered and uh, mostly outskilled by the enemy units because they have a higher level than we have. And they are lucky as hell. I'm not sure if hell is actually lucky, but they are the, the units they send us are. When we look at those hits, most of those water uh, sea folk had 60% defense. So I don't think this is entirely fair. Again, 60% defense, 100% hit. Yeah, I see myself not using the trident of uh, storms too long. It seems to be a cursed item. Because whoever picks it up will die a horrible and painful death right afterwards, and I wish it would drop. It could have at least ha it could at least have the decency to drop after death. Oh well. Stupid thing. Uh well they shouldn't have moved there, my friend. And I also wouldn't likely use lightning on the wa uh, in the water. That also seems like those uh, Darwin Award worthy ideas. On the bright side, our not waterbound units are doing excessively well here. Okay, you can't cure. We almost have Conrad over there. And that is definitely a good thing. Also not too worried about this injured squid anymore because he's down to only 3-5. And again, only might be the wrong word here, but it's all I have. It's all the optimism I have. Don't take it away from me. Well, at least that worked. And I don't think this uh, water guy will survive the next attack. However, we might be lucky and have the uh, purple monsters attack the uh, blue side next turn. And that would be helpful to me. Yeah, that was to be expected. That is unpleasant. Luckily, I only need Conrad over there. I only need Conrad over there. Yeah, that's good. Blue and purple are attacking each other now. So maybe this will lead to some kills that uh, help me. As in, maybe some of the uh, blue team actually held up by the monsters. 
I would appreciate that. I really would. I'm gonna be sure the Alpha Door doesn't die here. I think the uh, no purple team is on turn now. Oh wow, that was good for me. Yeah, he seems to be just taking whatever is closest. Don't kill my mermaid. Well, I got lucky for once. <laughs> Again. But I lost a few uh, very good units there, so it's not necessarily all good. Oh wow, they can actually move on land. I didn't see that <laughs> I didn't see that coming. I still think they can't move in uh, like all terrains, but it's it's fine. I guess I'll have to leave those guys behind to uh, distract the enemy. Okay. What to do about you? I actually want you to attack this one. I want you to kill this. Yeah, that's the... the uh, uh, benefit of having this uh, particular situation now. I can actually uh, kill... Oh, I can attack a lot and I, I have a high hit chance as well. Hmm, if I do this... I get my shite poisoned, which might bite me in the ass in the long run. This one hits both attacks. She actually does. Good. Now I can... Yeah, let's do that. We now got Conrad really close to this side, which is great. So assuming Delphodor, uh, assuming Kylens doesn't die on me, or Delphodor doesn't die on me, I should have this pretty much settled. Yeah, those guys were just meant to delay anyway. I wish I uh, had uh, been able to, to get more sea folk through. Ow. That sucked. But he will now attack this uh, those sea monsters and that's fine. By the way, I don't think they always actually level up, so... Uh, yeah. They will stay cuttlefish for all eternity. I wish I was a monster. I, I sometimes wish there were more turns to play like monsters. I ha I like having one or two like very exotic units around that just uh, level up along the others. And there's actually one campaign that's that's doing this very well. There's the uh, I think it's under two suns. There's two two suns like the thing in the sky, the glowy thing, and not two uh, suns as in uh, descendants of someone. And dang, there goes my. Uh, Mermaid. Cut it off now. Uh, where was I? Right, uh, so, so this campaign is actually quite fun because... Oh wow, I could... Can I kill this? No. Most likely not. Let's still try it. I can kill it. Nice. I want paladins. I can't cure, which still uh, doesn't help my shide at, at all, but okay, let's do this. Let's have Delphador kill this, or at least uh, severely injured. Move this over there, this over there, and this over there. And let's end this next turn. I hope I'm recording this. I really don't feel like doing this again. But yeah, it, it helps to, to stay on this side of the uh, of the, the fort, I guess. So I probably shouldn't have picked up that trident. I should have also tried to uh, get along with more uh, merfolk before. 
so they would have been leveled up more, but there really weren't that many opportunities to use them. We should also get away with a bit of extra money here, because we end this scenario way ahead of time. Ow! Stop it! Okay, so we will probably just... Uh, I like the spinning. Uh, we'll probably just try to, to wrap this up now. Ow, that's a lot of damage. Okay, we'll have Delphado do that. And Carlos do the rest. Okay, by the way, level 4 is really the end of the line, so there is no need to uh, develop anyone any further. Actually, we also can't do that. So does this count as the north end of the river? We made it across the river safely. Where to now? If we are to have any hope of penetrating into Knalga, we must continue north to seek help from the Dwarves of the Heart, mountains in the north. I cannot believe it. They made it uh, They have made it away. We must make chase after them, men. Let us cross the river, too. We will meet again, foul imposter. Do you really think she's going to chase us, Delphador? It surely looks like she will try. But many more creatures than we have fought lurk in this river. That will make it difficult for her. We must continue onward. If she makes it across before winter, then so be it. Okay, we got some extra gold. I will uh, end this video after that. Across the river were lands few humans had ever visited. The occasional distant thutter of orchid signal drums made the abundant pine forests nestled in rolling foothills both breathtaking and ominous. Swirling, snow-laden winds tore at Conrad's army, signaling the final exit of autumn and the onset of what, of what would be a harsh winter. Okay, so we are fighting... We are fighting... I hate having clicked this twice. Don't know why. This winter is bitterly cold. <sighs> Perhaps we should stop here and rest a while. Stop and rest? My lord, we must go after the Sept of... Uh, we must go hard after the Sept of Fire, lest it fall into the hands of the enemies. We have made a march ever since we were besieged by Yandet in that foul valley. Now winter bears down upon us, and we have spent most of our money. This land looks fertile enough. Surely we can settle here for the winter. Fertile lands in winter? I don't know. Yes, let us rest for a while. I am sure there are many challenges ahead, and I do not think I could endure another like the fording of the river for many days. We are pursued by the forces of our arch-enemy, chasing the scepter of fire. The fate of the realm is in our hands, and you humans want to stop and rest? Onward, I say. They are right, Collins. I had wanted to acquire the scepter within the moon, but it is not to be. Our soldiers will begin to desert if they do not rest soon. But in these wild northlands we must fight even for the right to rest. Look to the north! Those foul orcs will not allow us any peace. <coughs> Sorry. Then we shall wrest control of these uh, of the land from them. To arms, men! Oh, I'm glad the uh, others don't say anything now. Um, yeah. So, we have made quite a lot in this session. I mean, you can check the uh, time over here. Um, yeah, so you see I've done the last few missions in this uh, one sitting. Uh, I'm going to cut the video here, and I'll see you all next time.